Hi, I'm Demila Vendis. I'm a professor in the School of Chemistry, and I've just put together a couple of slides to help you um, select a curriculum if you are registering for Chemistry 1. So there are three possible courses that you can take, the straight BSc in Chemistry, you can do a BSc Chemistry with Chemical Engineering, and a BSc in Material Science with Chemistry. So if you are registering for the first time, you're a first year, you need to plan your curriculum. And in first year, you need to take four different subjects. So this guide will take you through that. The homepage for chemistry is bits.ac.za slash chemistry. And there you can find out a bit more about the department and the different staff members in the department. The information on the VITS websites are very informative and very easy to navigate. So, for example, if you want to go to the VITS chemistry site, go to this URL at the bottom, vits.ac.za slash chemistry. And on that front page, you will see all of the courses that are offered in chemistry. So the BSc, BSc Chemistry with Chemical Engineering, BSc in Material Science, and of course the honors and MSc and PhD programs. What you'll notice is that there is a little pop-up box as well. So it's the Kudu bot, and that is just the bot that you can use while you're online to get some help with your application. There are many courses in the Faculty of Science, the BSc courses, that require first-year chemistry, and specifically the Chem 1012A course. So, for example, Animal, Plant and Environmental Sciences, APES, Molecular Cell Biology, MCB, and Geology, all require that you do a first-year chemistry course. You can find the details of their courses and the prerequisites for their courses on their home pages. So on this one, MCB, this one, APES, and this one, Geosciences. So one of the options is to do a straight BSc in chemistry, which should take you three years. You've got the option of doing a double chemistry major. So you would do chemistry and applied chemistry. Alternatively, you can do a BSc in chemistry with other majors, such as biochemistry, physics, geology, maths, and others. So in the first year, um, you would register for chemistry and um, three other subjects. That will take you three years. The path that you would take then, if you wanted to um, and you qualify, you could go into BSc Honours in your second subject. What we hope is that you'll do BSc Honours in Chemistry. And of course, after that, you go into the world of work or you continue with an MSc or PhD in Chemistry. So chemistry is often considered to be the central science. In fact, that's the name of the textbook that we used, Chemistry, the Central Science. And it's called that because it is central to so many different aspects of science, including physics, biology, genetics, um, geology, and, others, and other subjects. This is a flow diagram then of 
what you would do in doing a BSc in chemistry. So either in chemistry and applied chemistry three or in other subjects. So if you're registering in first year, the important part is this top section. So you would need to register for chemistry one, which is given the code chem 1012A. What's compulsory if you want to go into chemistry two major is maths one major. So it would be these two subjects, algebra one and calculus one, given these two different codes here, or alternatively, maths one auxiliary, which is math 1041A. So that's compulsory if you want to go into second year chemistry. Then you have to do two other first year level subjects. And we give you some examples over here. So you can do physics one major or physics one auxiliary and geology, introductory life sciences or complementary life sciences or computer science or computational and applied mathematics. Going on into second year, you can follow the routes that are given over here, but I'm not going to go into those details. So this flow diagram shows you how you would proceed from first year chemistry all the way up to a BSc in chemistry, chemistry honors, and then into an MSc and PhD, if that's the route that you want to take. Here are just four examples of first year choices that you can do if you're starting in a BSc in chemistry and planning on to major in chemistry. So one choice is this one on the left, chemistry one, and the code that you would register for is chem 1012A. Then you would need to do mathematics. So this is maths major, algebra one, and calculus one, and one choice is doing physics one auxiliary and introductory life sciences one, which is BIOL 1000A. A second choice, you do chemistry one with mathematics auxiliary, so that's the math 1041A course, physics one major, and introductory life sciences. A third possible choice, Chemistry 1, Maths 1 Auxiliary, Physics 1 Major, and Computational and Applied Mathematics 1, which is a PPM 106A. And another choice is Chemistry 1, Mathematics 1 Auxiliary, Geology 1, which is Geol 1000A, and Geography 1. GOOG 1000A, and of course, there are others. The important thing is that when you are selecting these courses, you, make, you have to make sure that you've got four first year courses that total 144 points. And we'll look at the point system just now. The other important thing that you need to look at is that your choice in first year allows you to proceed to second year where you need three subjects. So your first year choice has to allow you to go into second year where you can take those three subjects. Now what about chemical engineering? So what we did uh, earlier, we were looking at a BSc in chemistry. So what if you want to choose between chemistry or chemical engineering? Well, of course, you can do a bachelor in engineering in the faculty of engineering, or you can actually do both. So this is something that we offer at WITS, and it is a fixed curriculum course. So then you would select BSc chemistry with chemical engineering option, the BSc part takes you three years. You then go on to do 
the third year of BSc Engineering in Chemical Engineering, and that takes you three, two years. Alternatively, instead of doing BSc Engineering, you can choose to go on to a BSc Honours in Chemistry, which is going to take you one year. And either of those, you can go into the world of work or, again, do MSc or PhD in chemistry or chemical engineering. This is actually something that is unique to WITS. You won't find this option in any other university in the country. So the BSc in chemistry with chemical engineering is a limited program. It's limited to 30 students. And we will see what the entry requirements are for this. They are slightly higher than for a BSc. So what we did at BITS a number of years ago is that the School of Chemistry in the Faculty of Science got together with the Chemical Engineering Department in the Faculty of Engineering, and we put together this program that allows you to get these two degrees. I'll go into a bit more detail in a moment to show you what uh, the fixed curriculum looks like. So what's really the difference between chemistry and chemical engineering? Well, basically chemistry is done in science and what we do as chemists is we work at the molecular level and we develop the science around the chemistry. And of course, we generally work on a laboratory scale. So using pretty sophisticated equipment to analyze and study the materials. And of course, glassware, where we do the reactions in fairly small vessels. Chemical engineers, on the other hand, take that chemistry that has been developed by the scientists and implement it on a commercial scale. So a lot of time is spent on things like reactor design and they implement it in places like huge ethanol stills and in plants like sasol. What we found, and uh, this is with other things as well, is that chemists and chemical engineers often form a close-knit team. And we are seeing this more and more, both at the universities and in industry, that you've got interdisciplinary teams that work very closely together. So these form a close-knit team. And if you have done the BSc Chemistry with Chemical Engineering option, you actually have quite a huge advantage. And over the years, we have noticed that students who have done the two degrees have a distinct advantage when it comes to the workplace. This then is the fixed curriculum for the Chemistry with Chemical Engineering course. And of course, this is um, for year of study one in 2021. So you can see that for first year, it looks quite different to the BSc chemistry. You register for chemistry one, chem 10, 12, A. You have to do physics one major, physics 1000, A, mathematics major, which is man, maths 1034A and 1036A, and then you do some engineering topics. So, for example, analysis and design, which are these two topic codes, FEBE 1002, 1004, and another subject like international relations, which is intro 101A. We'll see that there are other topics that you can do for this elective over here. Once you progress into second year, you can see you do a different combination of subjects, some science and some engineering, 
So chemistry two major, mathematics two, and then you do process engineering, computing for process engineering, and electrical engineering. And then finally, in third year, you do chemistry three major, applied chemistry three, as well as process engineering fundamentals. So that's CHMT 2023A. Then you've got the option of going on to the chemical engineering degree, which is that route there, or alternatively, going into chemistry honors. So what are the entry requirements? All of this information can be found in the science booklets, which I'll show you just now how to access them. In order to get into a BSc, you need 42 VITS points. I'll explain what those are now. 43 VITS points if you want to do chemistry with chemical engineering or material science. You also need a mark of 70% in maths and a minimum of 60% in physical science. So this is grabbed out of the booklet which explains the points. So to do a BSc, you get a firm offer if you've got more than 42 points and you put it on a wait list if it's less than that. Chemical engineering, you need 43 points with good marks in maths and physical science and the same in the BSc in material science, 43 points with maths and science. And if you don't have that, you are put onto a wait list. APS is just the academic point score. Okay, and the National Science Certificate gives you a scale of certificate, the scale of achievement, should I say. And it depends on the percentage that you have scored. So this is the NSC scale, and this is the WITS APS scale, and it is slightly different because we weight maths and English slightly higher. So if you've got between 90 and 100%, you get an APS score of 80, 80 to 89, 7, and this is only for maths and English, and 70 to 79, 6, etc., all the way down. For other subjects, these are the scores over here. So for WITS, um, for life orientation, you get four, three, two, or one marks, depending on your score. And these are the marks for the other subjects. Of course, you then total your marks to get the final score that you need. And as we've said, you need 42 points to get into a BSc, 43 WITS points if you want to do chemistry with chemical engineering, as well as 70% in maths and 60 in physical sciences. The third BSc program that we offer, and it's a fixed curriculum program as well, is a BSc in material science, which you can do either with chemistry or with physics. So in the first year, you would register for a certain fixed curriculum, and it is the BSc with material science option. It takes three years, ideally. You can then go on to do a BSc honors in physics, or you can choose to do a BSc honors in chemistry, depending on which subjects you've chosen. And as before, get into the world of work with an MSc or PhD in chemistry or in physics. Material scientists in the past few years have become very much in demand. So material scientists will develop new materials for all the batteries that we see, fuel cells, nanomaterials that are used in sensors and displayed nanomaterials that are used to deliver pharmaceuticals, environmental chemistry, photonics, 
and many other areas of engineering and science. So as with chemical engineering, chemists, physicists, engineers, and biomedical scientists often collaborate very closely. So for biomedical scientists, you've got things like prosthetics, and materials are obviously very important over there. So these slides just so show some of the nanomaterials that scientists are working on at the moment. Depending on the size of the nanomaterial, it's exactly the same chemical, you can get different colors. This then is the fixed curriculum for a degree in material science. So you can do material science three with either chemistry three or with physics three, depending on the choice that you make in second year. So in first year, you do chemistry one major, chem 10, 12 A. You do maths one major, physics one major, and any other first year course that does not clash with the other three. Then you can branch off into chemistry or physics. So on the left hand side, material science with chemistry. And in that side over there, you do chemistry two major with physics and mathematics. Alternatively, on the right hand side, you do physics two major with some chemistry and with mathematics. And then finally, you go on into third year where you do chemistry two major, three major, should I say, and material science or physics three major and material science. From there, you can either go on to chemistry honors or on to physics honors and once again, on to uh, a physics MSc or a chemistry MSc and finally post BSc um, and the world of work. All of the information that I've given you can be found in the Faculty of Science information booklets and you can download that from these sites over here. So vits.ac.za slash science slash undergraduate slash guide to curriculum planning. A BSc degree in science is very flexible and it offers you an opportunity to structure or design your own curriculum. You've got to select different courses which have got those course codes that I mentioned above. Some of the courses run for a full year, so like Chem 1012A is a full year course. Some of them only run for a part of the year and they have different credit scores. So to start with, you've got to consider which field of study interests you and which courses you want to do. The details, rules and syllabuses contain all of these details and can be find at, found at this site fit.ac.za slash students slash academic matters slash rules and syllabuses. So please download that and you can look at all the details that you need to find. Like most universities, we work on a credit system and of course that's important when you are doing your curriculum planning. So the credit um, system works like this. You've got to get for at least 432 credits in order to qualify for a BSc. At level one, normally each course counts 36 credits. So you're going to need four level one courses, which totals 144. At second year, and as I said right in the beginning, You've got to make sure that your first year courses can lead to three level two courses. So the three level two courses total 144. And finally, the two majors for a BSc total 144 credits, which will give, give you your 432.
To find whichever course you are interested in, there is a course finder page. So vits.ac.za, study at vits. And then you've got this over here, choose a degree or diploma, and you put in your search term. So if you put in chemistry, undergraduate, and search courses, you would come up with the three courses I've talked about before, plus a couple of others. So the BSc in Chemistry, Chemical Engineering, and Material Science. Finally, how do you actually register online? So you would go to the page vits.ac.za slash registration slash new first year students if you are at the university for the first time. And it gives you a very clear guideline as what to do. So this site is going to be open for first time first year students from the 25th of February until the 3rd of March. The first step is, of course, you've got to accept the offer on the student self-service portal. So you will be sent a firm offer and you've got to accept that. The second step is you've got to settle the first fee installment or alternatively confirm that you actually have a bursary. You then go on to register online on the self-service portal. And it is in step three that you will register for the courses that you select and the course codes that have gone through in some detail before this. Finally, you would then collect your student card and parking permit on campus, and of course, attend the first year registration. So this page over here is very easy to navigate and you can register online usually without any trouble. If you need assistance, there are very qualified staff at the Faculty of Science. So the registrar is Mrs. Renee Fosler, and new first-time students can write to her. So these contacts um, are for general undergraduate matters. Um, not for people uh, who are doing only chemistry, but if you have got any general queries, then contact one of these people. If you have any queries only about chemistry, not about other subjects, you can contact the people that I have listed below. So for first year chemistry, with Gabby Mayram, who is our director of first year studies, Gail Branken, also involved in the first year chemistry, Dr. Monica Novakoska, first year chemistry and general curriculum planning, Dr. Sadna Matura, first year chemistry and curriculum planning. Dr. John Moma, who is in charge of the Chemistry with Chemical Engineering program, and you can write to him for any details about that. Dr. Pierre Mubiai looks after the Material Science program. And finally, there's Prof. Damila Vendis, that's me, uh, for general queries. Prof. Dean Brady is the head of school. So good luck with your registration, and we hope that we can see you in this year.